Sonia. Hi. Hi, how are you going? Good. Yeah. This is Anna Damage, my massage therapist, and I try to get treatment for him once or twice a week, more if possible. Uh, and today we'll look at your shoulder, so let's see if we can make that better. Definitely take your shoes off and stand up, please. We'll have a look. It's not so bad though, it's just a bit thick through that posterior capsule. How's that feel? It's okay. So? Mm, a little bit. A little bit. Where? Where you're pushing. Here, yep. Going to extend. Not bad. It's tight there. So there, pop your hand behind your back. No pain? Oh, when I went to push it more, to the end. I saw yep. there. Okay. Right. Take a seat, please. Pop your hands across your chest. Thank you. Oh. Get the thoracic rotations, not so bad. The left side sore. Left side? Yeah. Still going into that, that same side, is that where you feel? Yeah. Where do you get that? Yeah. Contraction again. Okay. Let yourself slump. Slump. Yeah, you've become rotated again, so that's why. Uh, we'll fix that. Cool. Athletes like Grania, particularly badminton players, using their um, shoulders a lot. Um, often require a lot of back work and, and shoulder work, um, if not lower, um, elbow, wrist, forearm. But from the soft tissue, it gets, um, gets pretty tight on the muscles, if you like. So uh, part of what we do is help sort of relax some of the muscle tissue, but also help the shoulder function a bit better. To be honest, do they get injured? Yes, they do. Um, and it's impossible to remove injuries. It doesn't matter what people may think. It's, there's, if you don't want to get injured, just don't be an athlete. Everything that we do is to restore normal range of movement for Gonya. But she's a bit special because of her hyper mobility, um, meaning that she's got a lot of movement through her shoulder joint. And we're always struggling um, to find a balance between stability and hyper mobility. We, we can't treat her too hard as well because she would be too unstable. So she's one of these rare people to be very. Uh, very, very dedicated to uh, to what she does. Uh, people like many athletes, they're all a bit you know, uh, crazy and they're all a bit um, obsessed, I guess, if, if that's the word. Uh, there's, a, there's a bit of an obsessive compulsiveness about their behavior sometimes, but that's that's normal. That's how you achieve goals, otherwise you wouldn't, you wouldn't make it. And there you go. Now that my massage treatment is finished, I'm going to head to the ice bath for some recovery. After a big week of competition, it's really important to get my body back to normal again, so I like to do water recovery to help aid the muscles. I usually stay in for about 10 minutes, or during a training week, I might do two minutes cold, two minutes hot, and alternate about four times. Yeah, it's pretty cold. I think the worst, the worst one is when you have to put your hands in though. I think it's set to about seven or eight degrees, the cold one, and then the hot one is about 38 degrees. 